Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Farm where we do things differently. I found what was blocking the drain darling. After that experience, yes soap seems like a good idea. So um, we're going to make some because we make olive oil and olive oil has been used for centuries to make some stuff called fine castile soap. Now I can't promise fine castile but I can promise soap. Um, I'm going to use this container here, which I've put the weight on the side of, so I know how much olive oil there is in it. I have here some olive oil. Um, now, this one has got some uh, chunks of lavender in it, and uh, they've been sitting in there to make it smell more like a soap and less like a salad dressing. So, we've got to uh, strain out the bits of lavender and oh, that's convenient isn't it and we'll pop it in there so the other ingredient is um, caustic soda uh, so while this is all draining and everything I will be donning up protective gear because caustic soda is something you want to keep out of your eyes and indeed off your body as much as possible there yeah. Let's let that drain for a while, then we'll weigh it and figure out how much caustic soda we need. By the way, we're not using the nice olive oil to make the soap. We're using the crud out of the containers from about mm, four or five years ago. Tastes um, pretty much like supermarket olive oil, um, but it still makes good soap. Then we're back, and if you hear funny noises, there's a dog behind the camera, and I haven't got the heart to kick him out. Okay. We have protective gear. If you are going to handle caustic soda like a real rough, tough man with no gloves, I strongly, strongly urge you not to do it while your hands are wet or sweaty and to have a sink or bucket of water nearby just in case. Okay, right. So here is, according to my spreadsheet, which I got from soapcalc.net, my 58 grams of caustic soda. It's lye. No, it's true. It's also called lye. And we also need um, some water to dissolve it in. Uh, apparently, we have to use 162 grams of water, 162 cc's. And we have uh, some oil. Now, I weighed it up carefully before and it came to 425 grams of our oil. Excellent. I also have down here this cunning device meant for regulating the temperature of um, aquariums and things like that. Uh, hooked up to the old Kiwi electric frying pan with water and a trivet in it. Show you a picture in a minute. Okay, so that is set to a temperature of 50 Celsius, which your soap must be maintained at while you are doing all this. So we will plonk the olive oil in there, and with the aid of this thermometer, we will wait until it all reaches a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, I'll mix up the caustic soda solution. We do this carefully, it will get hot while it's doing this. It will emit fumes. You don't want to breathe the fumes. I don't know what the fumes are, I can't figure it out. Anyway, uh, some instructions on the internet will tell you to make sure that you neutralise caustic soda before you throw it away. Well, that's interesting because it's called drain cleaner and normally you dump it down the drain to clear it. So, um, yeah, not so much. The second thing is I'm using down here a dark working surface so that I can see all the little crystals of caustic soda that I've dropped before I put my hand upon them. Well, the temperature is uh, now, well, it's actually 52 Celsius. I mean, 5 degrees either way, 50, you know, it's fine. It'll get hotter when we uh, add in the sodium hydroxide solution because um, there will be a reaction. I have um, also got one of these uh, silicone trays that uh, ladies make muffins in and some of um, this universal indicator paper, which is available from all sorts of places, brewery suppliers, garden suppliers, um, 
and um, pool and spa shops. There we go. And that we will use to tell whether we've used up all the caustic soda in our soap um, because it should be neutral when we're done, pretty much. Okay, so with a temperature of 52 Celsius, we will pop this in and um, basically we've just got to keep stirring. Uh, the stirring part is really important, so uh, I am using a um, silicone spatula uh, because caustic soda has unfortunate effects on everything else uh, like wood and glass would break and uh, we have to stir this not too vigorously but thoroughly uh, and we can expect uh, when it's cooked for it to bubble on top so we don't want to create too many air bubbles right now there we go that's it all in now after a while and exactly how long depends uh, this stuff will start to go extremely thick and bubble on top and that's the point when we check it with the universal indicator 15 minutes later by now this should have thickened like a custard it has not and I think that a, a more intimate mixing is required and a slightly higher temperature. Yeah, you knew this was going to come to either power tools or setting it on fire eventually, didn't you? Okay, so um, I've upped the temperature to 54 on the little gizmo down here. Um, and uh, yeah, one stick blender. impressively, a bit like making a really disgusting mayonnaise. Speaking of which, it now smells a lot more like soap and a uh, whole lot less like salad dressing. So I guess as the, uh, the oily components are destroyed, the, um, the uh, what was it, the oil of the lavender that is in there comes more to the fore. Now let's uh, unplug this and uh, we'll test it with some of this uh, ind indicator paper. The moment of truth. We may have to give it a bit longer, but let's see. And it's gone green. Good. As long as it doesn't go, it's a boy! I think we may have achieved soap. Alright, let's cast it into moulds. See, blue, it's a boy. Yeah, that's far too alkaline. Ours is down here. Seven, eight, yeah, maybe a little bit alkali, but this is going to carry on reacting um, while it's put to one side for, mm, I don't know, four, six weeks, something like that. Um, until these cakes of soap, rather than cakes of muffin, um, turn into little rocks. And uh, then I'll use them in my shower. I won't um, show that because I don't want to be banned from YouTube. So, there we go. I suppose I could have got half a dozen of it if I portioned it out more, uh, more neatly. But hey, I'm doing this in front of a camera. The last time I made soap was the well, best part of 30, 40 years ago. So, cut me some slack. I haven't broken the glassware yet and I'm shaking like a leaf trying to hang on to the damn thing because for some reason it's damn slippery. Can you figure that out? <coughs> Alright, so uh, I'll even these up a bit and um, show you the finished result. So as anyone who's watched the movie Fight Club knows, and if you haven't seen Fight Club, see Fight Club, um, we have used uh, the caustic soda, the lye, to split the oil in olive oil into um, fatty acids and glycerine, which I've been using the movie to make nitroglycerine, uh, but it's also really good in soap, and, um, well, 
like I say, we'll see how it goes. But until then, and I assure you I will wash in the interval, that's your lot down on Geeko Farm. <laughs>